Hi, I'm Chef Scott Samuel here at the Culinary Institute of America at Greystone in Napa Valley. I'm going to make a dish today incorporating red grapes, corn, and mahi-mahi. It's a grilled mahi-mahi with a red grape corn salsa and a spicy grape coulis. So the components of this dish are in front of me. And first of all, my salsa will have uh, fresh red grapes that I've quartered, fresh white corn, fresh red pepper diced, cilantro minced, a little bit of uh, serrano pepper that have been seeded and minced, shallot, lime juice, and I will finish this with olive oil. So those components are the salsa. I'm going to combine them. It's going to be a fresh salsa with a nice cool bite with a spicy aftertaste. The coolness of the grapes with the sweetness of the corn and the bite of the serrano should play really well with the grilled mahi-mahi. Uh, the sauce I'm going to create is going to be incorporating green grapes that I'm going to puree and strain and then incorporate that with creme fraiche, lime juice, a little bit of honey, and some cayenne for the heat. And the last component will be the mahi-mahi or any other white fish that we're going to marinate with a little bit of canola oil, lime juice, and then season with salt and cayenne and grill it up simply. So three components come together with this dish and the highlight is uh, the red grapes and the sweetness of it. So let's make the salsa. The first thing I want to do is uh, we're going to combine all these fresh ingredients. A cup of red grapes, a cup of sweet corn, our half cup of red pepper, half cup of minced cilantro, the spiciness of our serrano, shallot, and lime juice. So what makes a salsa a salsa is uh, the salt that brings out the moisture of the fruits and vegetables, the lime juice that I've just added, and heat. We have a little bit of cayenne. So this salsa is best after we let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes for the flavors to combine. And the last ingredient I have in this will be my olive oil. So salt, pepper, olive oil, the sweetness of the grapes. Let's let this uh, set this aside, about 20 minutes. So let's make the spicy green grape coulis. First thing we want to do is take uh, about a half a cup of green grapes. We're going to puree them, extract the juice and the pulp. So I want to strain out the skins while extracting the juice and the pulp of the green grape. So with the back of a ladle and a strainer kind of just pushing to get as much of the puree of the grape together, this is going to add some body to our sauce. So there's our uh, green grape juice. We want to take our creme fraiche, half a cup of creme fraiche, lime juice, a little bit of acid to bring out the flavor, and our honey sweetness to balance, and our quarter teaspoon of cayenne, and our kosher salt to lift the flavors. Very simply whisk together. Now I have a nice sauce to pair with my uh, mahi mahi and my salsa. And mahi mahi, very simply, all I want to do is marinate it in a little bit of canola oil and lime juice. And uh, I only want to do this for about 10 minutes. The lime juice, the acid in the lime juice will start to cook the fish. I'm not looking to cook the fish like a ceviche. What I'm looking to do is add some flavor. So let's grill the mahi and then assemble this dish. My mahi's had a chance for about 10 minutes to uh, sit in the lime juice and canola oil. And you can see a little bit of the edges are getting opaque. That's the lime juice starting to cook our mahi. We don't want to go too much longer. That's exactly what it should look like. So you notice I didn't put any salt in the marinade. I don't want to add salt early on because it pulls out the moisture and then my fish will tend to stick to the grill. So I will season it right this second before we put it on the grill. Grill pan is hot. Seasoning with kosher salt and cayenne. And what I like to do is right before I put it on the grill, I'll oil the grill to season it. And I'm going to put it presentation side down. So look, I've had this on for about three minutes on one side and I haven't even touched it yet because I don't want it to stick. But I'm looking at the edges and I'm starting to get a little bit of opaque. That's my fish cooking. Now I should be able to turn it about a 45 degree angle and we'll let it go for another minute before we turn it again. In the meantime, I'm going to season the backside. Okay, so I've had a chance to cook probably 50% of the way on the presentation side. Now I'm going to flip it and just sear it because I want this fish to still have a little bit of moistness in the center. It's going to flake. That's going to be my sign that it's done.
All right, so about another minute on this backside, and then we're ready to present. So the components I have ready for uh, plating are my salsa, which has had a chance to uh, marinate and infuse the flavors, and my spicy green grape creme fraiche, and I'll be garnishing with some uh, fresh red grapes. Okay, let's take a look at our mahi. It's almost there. We've got probably another 30 seconds to cook this, but I know that there's going to be some carryover heat. So I'm going to take it off, remove it to a warm plate while I get my plate presentation ready. So a little bit of creme fraiche down on the plate, topped with the perfectly cooked mahi. And we're going to add our grape salsa. Couple fresh grapes. And there we have our red grape and corn salsa with grilled mahi mahi and a spicy green grape creme fraiche. Enjoy.